Hello everyone. Today we're in the capital of Scotland called Edinburgh. This isn't a place that we were planning to come to at all, but when we were checking flights to our next destination that we're going to in two days, a lot of the flights were coming through here. So we thought, why not check out the capital of Scotland while we're on the, the way there? So we're going to be spending two days here overall. And right now we're in the old town, the main historic town. So the place we're staying is called Backpackers Hostel and it's around $98 a night. So $98 seems pretty expensive for a hostel, right? But yeah, we are right in the center of town and this is a capital in the UK. So yeah, it is pretty expensive, but it's not bad. It doesn't really look like a hostel room. It is a private room. So yeah, it's just like a hotel room really. Don't really have much views here. You can already see a bit of a glimpse of the old buildings around Edinburgh Old Town. Alright, let's see how cold it is this morning. <laughs> cold? <laughs> Better than yesterday though. Yeah, because it's not windy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like uh, 3 degrees now. We are in February and it's pretty early. So look how nice the street looks that we're on. It's called uh, Cockburn Street. Old buildings everywhere. I think first we're gonna have a, a nice big breakfast. Yeah. Warm up and then we'll explore. So this street that we're on, it's basically just uh, cafes and restaurants everywhere. So yeah, we spot up for choice here. So the hostel that we stay in gave us this card here that gives us 15% off to this cafe, Southern Cross Cafe. So here yeah, might as well come here. So I think I'm gonna get a fresh baked croissant. That's two pounds ninety-five. And probably go for a hot chocolate as well to warm up. Three pounds sixty-five. Do you know what you're getting? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that breakfast place was delicious. I ended up getting two croissants. It was that good. How was yours? Yeah, very good as well. <laughs> but I just had one, only one. Yeah, Carol only had one. And we can hear the bagpipes, the traditional Scottish music. So yeah, we're heading towards the sound. You know, I've never heard uh, bagpipes before, live. Yeah, of course. Only you haven't. <laughs> no, I mean in films and like movies. <laughs> yeah. Where is he at? Oh, here we go. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's obviously the Scottish uh, kilt that he's wearing. Look at all the school kids go. Oh. Gotta <laughs> check the dance going on. <laughs> yeah, so this was the street that we're staying on, where we ate at the cafe as well. And then this is the most famous street around here, it's called uh, the Royal Mile. It is a mile long, and on either side you have royal buildings, so there's a palace that way. And then going this way is a castle that we're going to head to later on. I love all the stores as well. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's so cute. Yeah, Carol said she feels like she's in a movie. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know, series or something. Yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter, yeah. Check this out as well. So around here you get these super old uh, alleyways. There's many of them. So all the way around they call them uh, closes. So this one is Old Assembly Close.
Carol like a true tourist is Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> taking a picture of the telephone box. I bet people in like UK just yeah, see tourists taking a picture of that are like, what oh, the hell? <laughs> yeah, for me it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's just a telephone box, Carol. Nah, even for me though, I haven't lived in the UK for like 14 years, so still pretty cool to see. Check this thing out as well, the face. <laughs> The High Street Wellhead. The original wellhead or cistern in this position, probably of around 1675. Oh, this one's a smiley face on this side. <laughs> and from what I read, this uh, street here was one of the first places in the world to have high rise buildings. So, multiple story buildings from like 500, 600 years ago. The first apartments in the world here in Edinburgh. Check out this one for a cool alleyway. Advocates close. Devil's advocate. Could do a good horror horror film in uh, Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. Check this out. Advocates close. Residence of Lord Advocate Sir James Stewart, 1692 until 1713. Yeah. So we came down this one, the Advocates one. Really cool. You can tell how old. All the buildings are around here. This one even has a date on it, 1590. So the reason you have like the high-rise multi-story buildings and those little alleyways is because in the past Edinburgh used to have a wall around it and everybody wanted to live inside obviously for protection but there was limited space and due to overcrowding that's why they had to build the buildings so high and so close together creating little alleyways. There you go, Carol, you can buy yourself a kilt. Yeah. 25 pounds for a kilt. <laughs> so we found a nice little viewing area here. This part below is called Victoria Street. You get some really good views of the buildings. The buildings down there look really beautiful. And yeah, there's a lot of information around the, the city. So yeah, it's really good says that the street was only built in the 1830s to improve transport throughout the growing city. But it says the buildings that we can see to our right, which must be the ones down there, that they were already here before the Victoria Street was built, built around the 1700s. So we're at the bottom of Victoria Street. We were just up there. Nice little stairway here. One of the more colorful streets that we've seen so far in Edinburgh. All sorts of different colors. And apparently over here you can get some proper fish and chips. Maybe we'll try that out. <laughs> You've only had fish and chips once, right? In London, yeah, one time? I, feel, I think two or three times in London. Wasn't proper though. No proper. <laughs> only here. Yeah, the smallest pub in Scotland, the wee pub. I was telling Carol the other day that over here they say wee for little or small. Yeah, yeah it's very different for me. I never heard like people say that. But yeah, it's only in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. The wee pub. This is definitely the spot to come for pubs though, look at this. They're all pubs, I think. 
people in the UK like to drink. Yeah, I know, I, I know that. <laughs> so this area with all the pubs and stuff is called Grass Market and once again there was a really good sign there explaining about this place and yeah it was just a market since like the 1500s and it also said that this was a place where they did a public execution so yeah a bit of a gruesome history as well so we're just at the end of this uh, grass market area we get our first glimpse of Edinburgh Castle up there. How cool does that look? Yeah, it looks awesome. You know that that's on top of a volcano? Oh, really? Yeah. But not an active one. No, not an active <laughs> one. But yeah, apparently that is an extinct volcano with the, the castle on top. That looks cool on this building. Like flowers going all the way up. Yeah, it really is just such a cute little attractive historic town or city. <laughs> So this building here, it's called uh, New College and from the sign it's a part of uh, the University of Edinburgh so imagine studying in a building like that actually has the date there, 1846 looks cooler than your university Carol oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Hogwarts or something Hogwarts <laughs> yeah <laughs> alright, now it's time for the main attraction here the Edinburgh Castle so we got these tickets in our email since we booked it online. £15.50 per person. And that is the second most visited attraction in the UK. Port Coolis Gate, 1574. Got the cool old cannons here. Oh, pretty nice views. So that's the more uh, modern area of the city, the new town. But apparently I think the buildings there are also like uh, 18th, 19th century. So yeah, it's not like brand new. It's also historic. Man, I love castles. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I didn't realize that within the castle, there would actually be a bunch of buildings. Loads of like houses around here, it seems like within the castle. So the good thing about coming at this time is you get the one o'clock cannon there that I think only goes off at one o'clock. One o'clock every day, I think. Yeah, every day. So as you can see, pretty popular. A lot of people waiting. It's got about three minutes. All right, here he comes. Check out the bullet. <laughs> I wasn't expected to be so loud. Yeah. So this right here is St. Margaret's Chapel, the oldest building in uh, Edinburgh from the 12th century. King David I built the chapel in about 1130 and it was a tribute to his saintly mother, Margaret, the Queen Margaret. Man, there's way more things to see than I thought. Yeah, it's a huge castle and I think people uh, write on the reviews that you can usually stay here for three hours or even more depending on how you walk but there are yeah. many things to see yeah we saw there's like a prison mm -hmm. a museum and then just like things like this like a cathedral So 
So this is the view that the guy would have had. Fire in the cannon over the town. <laughs> See everything from up here. Carol's cannon. <laughs> cannon. <laughs> really a cannon. Yeah. So now we're in the Great Hall. And look at all the weapons they have there. Look at the size of oh, like, like almost Excalibur. My, yeah, almost my size. Yeah. Man, someone could actually use that thing. Man, some of these weapons are crazy. Look at that. All sorts of different kinds. Yeah, warfare back then was hardcore. Yeah. Oh. So this is known to be one of the most attacked castles in the world in history. Oh, so that's why they have so many swords and so many armor and everything. I always find it a bit weird when uh, you walk around places like this because you know that you walk in on like the ground where thousands of people have yeah. died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how most of historical places are. Yeah, the castles especially. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's way busier now. Yeah. Actually, are, seems like a weekend. Yeah, the pubs are starting to open. Oh yeah, is this a pub? Oh no, it's like a food truck, right? Oh, food truck, yeah. yeah. Oh, I really like the sound of that though. Yeah, it's very different kind of music, but it's nice. So we've come to some traditional looking pub here called the uh, World's End and that's what it's called yeah the World's End and yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna get it's got like the fish and chips that's uh, 14 pounds I might go for a pie though haggis and potato pie I've never eaten haggis before that's a Scottish thing and that's 12 pounds 49 neeps and tatties cheddar whiskey sauce Seasoned greens. Sounds good. Any idea what you're getting, Carol? Vegetarian burger. Where's that? Uh, here. Okay. It's 11.29. 11 11.29. Yeah. So this isn't a Scottish beer, it's an Irish beer as you can see, Guinness. But since I haven't drunk uh, Guinness, I don't even know how long, like two years, I thought I'd get a Guinness. Best looking beer, look at that. Yeah, it looks, looks like chocolate or something. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I missed it. Just That's like uh, the, what? Just like the old days. Yeah, just like the old days. That's uh, five pounds for a pint, big pint. So Carol's gonna try her first Guinness ever. It's, it's good because I don't like beer, so this is better than the other, like the uh, white beer. I don't know how you call it. It's like wheat beer, lager, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I think this is better for me, but still. I wouldn't drink uh, an entire glass or pint, I don't know. <laughs> Not a pint drinker. No. Alright, the food has arrived. So this is my pie. I actually thought it was going to be like a crusty pie. Looks almost like a lasagna or something. Super cheesy. And yeah, that's Carol's burger there. Veggie burger. Guys, so this is my first time eating haggis. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. It's so delicious. Mm. I just checked what's in haggis, so apparently it's like uh, the meat, the lungs and like the liver of a sheep 
but then it's mixed with loads of different things like uh, onions, uh, spices, and yeah, it's like got a spicy kick to it. So that's why I'm really liking it because I like like uh, spicy food. They also got the gravy as well to pour on it. Whoa. <laughs> So I don't usually rave about food that much on this channel, but yeah, that was just really delicious. Maybe because since I was born in England, even though I left 14 years ago, I think it like reminded me of England a bit, like the gravy and eating pies, <laughs> big part of the culture over there as well. And now we're gonna head to a place called Carlton Hill, which we think is that hill over there with the tall monument. So just trying to work out how to get there. You can see there's a big train track here, so I think we've got to go to a bridge over there somewhere, go into the new town, and then, yeah, kind of like loop around. We'll see. So even on this side where the new town is, still get some amazing old buildings all around. Got some pretty majestic looking gothic monument here. Look at the size of that. Usually you'll be able to go up to the top to get some good views, but I think it's closed now, probably because of COVID. And then on this side, you get some really good views of the, the old town. So that's the castle back there, Edinburgh Castle. It does look good from over here though. Man, it's definitely different now that the sun's gone, right? Yeah, it gets colder and colder though. <laughs> so it was a really easy walk here to Carlton Hill. Don't really have to go uphill that much at all and there's loads of monuments up here all spread around so we'll go to that one in a second and yeah this is probably the best views that we've had so far of the city so you got the castle all the way over there and now you can really see the icy snowy mountains and that place over there is called king arthur's seat people do like hikes and stuff you can actually see tiny little people on top so yeah, you get some amazing views from up there as well. So this hill, King Arthur's seat, and the hill that um, the castle is sat on top, were all made by volcanic activity, just like I mentioned earlier in the video, from 350 million years ago. <laughs> Pretty wild. So this is the most famous monument here on the hill, the National Monument of Scotland. And it's a memorial for the sailors and soldiers that lost their lives during the Napoleonic Wars. And from what I read, it's actually unfinished. It was never completed, so... Yeah, it's like a half-built uh, monument, but still here. Impressive pillars, though. Yeah, this is a spot for, like, panoramic views, isn't it? Yeah, you can see even the... Is it a channel or...? I don't know if it's a river or a channel. I'll be able to write it down. <laughs> and the rest of the historical city yeah everywhere literally all these monuments look cool though they're all very different so with a bit of work you can climb the monument yeah it wasn't easy it wasn't easy this is the only way up here the struggle is real <laughs> yeah, not a bad view from this side though that's more of the King Arthur seat. You can actually see the trails there. Nice and green on this side. So we came to this spot right now next to Carlton Hill because we thought it was a tourist attraction but it turns out it's like some old uh, cemetery. So yeah you have all these like empty looking tombs now 
but it's definitely an old cemetery because all the dates are from like the 1700s and 1800s so yeah, people were buried like 200 300 years ago we thought it was a tourist thing because we saw this castle looking building there that looked pretty cool but yeah some people are into cemeteries right so here you go i'm not gonna walk in but yeah, it's definitely super old though, no roofs. I guess it all got damaged, right? Yeah, it appears so. Some of them are just like, uh, they don't have a roof anymore. Yeah, well, I think all of them don't have roofs. Yeah. They're all just like open tombs. I'm not sure if I've ever been to a cemetery like this though. Like this old. I don't usually go to cemeteries, so. 1790. Oh, look at this tomb here. Rob Byrne. I guess that was somebody important. Huge tomb. Like I said before, it would be a good spot for a horror, horror film at Edinburgh Old Town. But there are other older tourists walking around, so I think this is actually like a tourist, tourist attraction. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it is. Yeah, this one is the craziest tomb. Look at that. 1778 David Hume. in memory of the Scottish American soldiers. Oh, that's Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. So that's it for this video. We ended up spending our second day today just exploring more areas of the old town that we hadn't seen. Saw some more incredible historic looking buildings. And we also went to the National Scottish Museum. That's right here in the Old Town and it's for free. Super huge museum, easily one of the best ones that we've ever been to. Yeah, and also kind of like a fun museum, great for kids. The kids were loving it there because there's all like games and stuff. So yeah, definitely worth visiting that. And it's just been cool being back in the UK once again, even if it's only for two days. Definitely got to come back here and explore some of the countries around the UK in the future. If you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you around.